Now, I haven't done a video on microwaves. I want to give you my opinion and anything that I say that conflicts with what you know, if you've found some studies or references that conflict, put it down in the comment section below. I'm always interested in new research and especially research that's been suppressed because when you evaluate anything on the internet, um, a lot of times you'll find that information is suppressed. Um, a lot of the facts are not easily found. I mean, let's take, for example, Crisco. It's been considered somewhat healthy for 97 years until they found out it's uh, actually pretty dangerous, right? So there's a lot of things in the market for a long period of time considered safe. So I'm just going to give you my opinion on microwaves. Um, I do have a microwave oven. I don't really use it. It's not that I'm concerned about it. I just don't use it because I use the oven mostly. So let's just kind of go through some definitions here. The definition of radiating means traveling outward in all directions from a source. Okay. Then we have radiation, which is the transmission of energy in the form of particles or waves through space or a medium like food, a body, or even a wall. And so some people have this consideration if they microwave the food that it's going to be now radioactive in some way. Let's close it up right now. There's actually two types of radiation. You have ionizing radiation and you have non-ionizing radiation. Ionizing radiation breaks one or more electrons from the atom. It's deeper. It can create DNA damage. And that would be like gamma rays or x-rays or even to some degree uv radiation but then you have non-ionizing radiation which can disrupt bonds of molecules but not necessarily the atoms but in the research on microwaves apparently it doesn't even break the bonds it just vibrates the bonds so it might disrupt the bonds in some way and it creates heat. So that's really how microwaves affect the food. They're vibrating the food to a certain degree, which creates heat. All right, so microwaves can lower the nutrient value in food, for sure, uh, depending on how long it's being microwaved. But of course, heat in general lowers the nutrient content in food. The big problem with microwaves is what you cook your food in. If you're using plastics, the heat is going to break down that plastic and put it in your food. And there's been some pretty hardcore research on this, and our bodies are accumulating a lot of microplastics, and this is definitely one source. So if you're going to use a microwave, cook in glass or ceramics, okay? But don't use plastics in a microwave. Now, the other very important point about microwaves is that you do not want to stand anywhere near the microwave oven when it's on. Now, usually they have a little filter in there with those little dots. Do not be looking in the microwave when you're cooking anything. In fact, I would walk away to the point where you're not even 15 to 20 feet in the direction where that microwave is. And the reason is this, because those waves coming from the microwave um, can affect the cornea of your eye. And the last thing you want to do is vibrate the small molecular structures of your eye and start to cook the lens of the eye, which is very sensitive to heat. So you just want to be completely away from the microwave. And a few days ago, I used my EMF tester on the microwave. And I wanted to see how far these waves extended from the microwave when it was on. I had my EMF set to radiation waves, and it was definitely uh, significant at 15 feet away from that microwave. So if you're gonna use a microwave, stand all the way to the side, be away from the microwave. If you wanna get notified with all my content, click the notification bell next to subscribed.